Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in remembrance of my friend, Steve Rockford, who passed away last week following his five-year battle with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease. I first met Steve when he came here to Washington, D.C. to advocate on behalf of more funding for ALS research. And I was really struck by his courageously uplifting demeanor in the midst of a very dark prognosis. Steve came to my office, was all smiles, brought me this pack of cards where his card was on the top. As you can see right here, Steve leaves behind his wife Tammy and his five children. You know, while this terrible disease attacked Steve's body, it really never touched his resolve. He held a positive and inspirational mindset throughout not only the diagnosis and his treatments, but throughout his fight against ALS. He never let Lou Gehrig's disease bring him down. Steve actually, he sent me text messages every day. And it's sad that I don't get them anymore, and we know why. These text messages would have biblical verses, inspirational messages from a man who was fighting a disease that he knew he was not going to live through. That tells you a lot about Steve Rockford, former wrestling coach at Southeast High School in Springfield, Illinois. He's somebody who taught others how to lift themselves up. And while he was fighting the fight of his life, he taught me what it was like to be lifted up by someone so special. ALS is a devastating disease. It attacks the body. It never stops relenting. It's estimated that 20,000 people have this disease at any given time, and only 20% of those aff affected with ALS live more than five years after the diagnosis. We must follow Steve's request to fund research at the National Institute of Health to ensure that diseases like ALS are eradicated and that those afflicted with the disease have access to home health services and rehabilitation equipment. While facing a debilitating disease and diagnosis, as you can tell, Steve did not despair, falter, or surrender. Steve, Steve Rockford is a hero to me. He's a hero to many in his hometown of Springfield, Illinois. I'm a better man for knowing Steve Rockford. Please continue to keep his wife Tammy and their five beautiful children right here in this picture. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Steve, may, we're going to miss you. I'm sure you're having fun up there. I yield back. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the Chair declares the